Hello, fifth and sixth grade. This is your science video for Wednesday, uh, February 24th. And today you have two work text pages to do, 151 and 152. Look at 151. Um, on 151, it basically says to make your own organizer. It's going to be similar to what you have on 146. So if you go back to 146 and you look at the one for the properties of sound, except now you're going to do it for the characteristics of sound. Now, according to what you're reading is, there are only three characteristics of sound. So you'd have characteristics of sound as your middle thing, and then you would put bubbles for those other three, and then put the definitions for those three bubbles that are there. All right, and then you have the study guide on the back on 152. And don't forget, we'll be grading that um, tomorrow when we get back to school. And so don't forget um, about that. All right, so go ahead to our reading now. Our reading is um, work text pages, I mean, reading pages 224 to 227. And so on those, and we will... Um, read about characteristics of sound. So here we go. Sound engineers understand and use the characteristics of sound. In a similar way, the characteristics of sound help us compare and describe individual sounds. You experience many different sounds each day. A songbird trills a high, happy song. The horn of a tugboat makes long, low blasts. The siren of a police car may change between loud and soft sounds. Pitch. Pitch is how high or low a sound is. The pitch of a sound is related to its frequency. Remember that the frequency is the number of waves that pass a point in one second. These waves result from vibrations. A slowly vibrating object has a low frequency. This produces a low pitch. As an object vibrates faster, it pitches, its pitch gets higher. You can hear changes in pitch, for example, by listening to different sounds made by an electric mixer that has several settings. When the mixer is at its lowest setting, the motor vibrates slowly and you hear a low pitch. As the motor is turned to a higher setting, the motor vibrates faster pitch of the motor sounds higher. God gave the human ear the ability to hear certain frequencies. Most people can hear sounds with frequencies between 20 and 20,000 hertz. And that's, uh, um, um, you use the uh, letters HZ to represent hertz. The lowest note or pitch on a piano has a frequency of about 27 hertz. The frequency of the highest note on the piano is a little over 4,000 hertz. The pitch of most sounds is a blend of frequencies. Some creatures, such as bats, dogs, and insects, can hear higher frequencies than humans can. If you blow a dog whistle, you cannot hear the sound, but a dog nearby can. Look at science and history there. It says when musical instruments play together, they must be tuned to the same pitch. If they are not, they will produce sounds that clash rather than blend. The standard pitch used today is not the same as the one musicians used in the past. The tuning fork of the 18th century composer uh, George Friedrich Handel Tune the A above middle C to the frequency of 422.5 hertz. Today, the same note is usually tuned to 440 hertz. All right, and they give you a little range there, um, a map or a chart of different frequencies of what they can hear. A bat, look at the bat, look at the porpoise, how, how much the porpoise can hear, or a scarab beetle, grasshopper, parakeet, less than a human, elephant, less than a human. But every other animal has better hearing or a higher... Uh, a better range of hearing than what humans do. Volume, we're on page 226 now. Volume is how loud uh, how loud or soft a sound is. The volume of a sound changes as the amount of energy used to make the sound waves changes. A greater energy or an intensity will produce a larger vibrations. Large vibrations make larger sounds than, number, uh, than smaller vibrations do. There are times you, you may try to walk quietly through a room. You carefully place each foot softly on the floor. Slow, gentle steps cause small vibrations. Very little sound is heard. Compare the sound with the sound made when you run and jump in a basketball game. Running and jumping causes cause greater vibrations and louder sounds. The intensity of a sound is the measure in decibels, and that is your secret word for today. The sound of your breathing is about 10 decibels. Talking in a normal voice or your friend or to your friend is about 60 decibels. Some of you, the normal uh, sound is about 100 decibels for talking to your friend quietly. Um, but the sound of a jet taking off is about 160 decibels, and they give you the different levels there of the different, different decibels. You, I think on the, I'll have to double check, but I think that you have to know some of those as well. Um, number 220, page 227, the human ear can hear, uh, can be damaged by too many large, loud vibrations. Because sounds cause your eardrum to vibrate, the force of strong vibrations can cause pain. Exposing your ears to intense sound for long periods of time may reduce the ability of delicate structures in the inner ear to sense sound. This may cause hearing loss. 
A sudden sound such as a firecracker going off can cause temporary hearing loss. You should wear hearing protection anytime your ears are exposed to very large, very loud sounds. Quality. Timbre is the quality of a sound that distinguishes it from other sounds of the same pitch and volume. Before a band concert, the instruments tuned to the same pitch. However, the trumpets sound different from the clarinets, and the clarinets sound different from the flutes. They all play the same pitch, but the timbre of each instrument is unique. Most of the sounds that we hear are a blend of several waves. Each of these waves has different characteristics. As these waves blend, the sound has a certain timbre. If one sound wave is added or removed, the timbre will change. A clarinet has a reed that vibrates. The reed is not, only part, is, is not the only part of the instrument that vibrates, though. When a musician blows into the clarinet, the long tube that forms the instrument vibrates as well. The air inside the clarinet also vibrates. A skilled musician must control all these vibrations so that they blend to produce a pleasant sound. An oscilloscope image, uh, oscilloscope's image of a single pure sound such as that made by a tuning fork looks smooth. Musical instruments, however, do not have a pure sound. Instead, musical instruments produce sounds that are a blend of different vibrations or sounds. On an oscilloscope, those, these blended sound waves look rough or wiggly. You recognize many sounds without thinking about it. You may be playing in a backyard with a group of friends when someone's mother calls from the house. You know immediately whether it is your mother or not. The timbre of her voice helps you know. And then she always reminds you, I would think, if you hear me call, you better answer, coming, or yes, or I hear you, yes ma'am, what may I do for you, and that type of thing. Or coming usually is what we used to say when I was a kid. We'd have to come in so they could hear us as best as possible. So they knew we heard them and that we were on our way back, even though we were, you know, a few blocks away. All right. Well, that's it for your, um, uh, for your science for today. Have a good day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.